All right. Hello, 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 everybody. Doing a stream, Muddy Rivers this time. Wild West roleplay. Uh, we got some orders to fulfill. One for uh, Dahlia Quinn. The other one might possibly for uh, Sheriff John Reed. We don't know. I haven't checked my uh, telegrams or letters as of yet. But uh, that is something that I need to do today. Find out what's going on. Um, so yeah. So things are looking up. Things are definitely looking up for everybody that uh, or the people work for Rivers Food for Your Horse. We are definitely moving on up. We're making money, guys. Progress, progress. So let's go ahead and log in. Uh, I should be at the uh, Beecher's Hope. Which I am. That's good. Go. Huh. Nice horses. All right. Let's get to picking. Make a little bit of money here. I'll go check my telegrams later. <clears throat> yeah, uh, last episode of uh, Muddy Rivers, we uh, Muddy and Credence came over here to pick up, pick some carrots, and unfortunately, uh, two people can't pick carrots at the same time unless they're doing solo work. So yeah. Um, I was already getting tired towards the end of the stream and I figured what the hell I'll just I'll sleep in the barn and then the next time I wake up I'll, uh, I'll pick a bunch of carrots it won't take me too long I hope uh, Sheriff Reed like responded it'd be nice if he did and get that five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars is what he said. What can he get for five hundred dollars? Told him four hundred apples, five hundred wild carrots, four hundred hay, hundred candy canes, which is quite a bit. Lost him for a good time, long time. So, uh, how's your uh, Sunday evening going? Oh, I had bought some mouse feet for a mouse. So my mouse is moving a whole lot slicker now. So uh, at one time I took apart my mouse and I had to get rid of the, uh, the mouse feet. You know, the little stickers at the bottom in order to get to the screws to unscrew everything. And then I realized that... I messed up the mouse feet. And so for about two or three months, I, maybe even longer than that, I've been playing on a mouse that uh, didn't move very smoothly across my mouse pad. I mean, once that, the, the big part of the mouse, that part was, uh, that part was okay. The middle part of the mouse that goes around the the uh, sensor, that was okay. It was just the front two top, the the front part of the mouse, where the wire comes out of, and it made it rough sometimes. So the whole time I was playing as Dallas Cobb, uh, for that long period of time, um, yeah, my mouse was not as smooth. As as it is now. And I know those things only cost like eight bucks. I would have bought those things a long time ago. But oh well. Here now. That's what's important. So let's take a look. Had a few things. Let's check our Excel document that we have. 
All right, where we stand. 255 apples, 356 carrots, 286 hay, 337 uh, candy canes. Uh, those are pretty good numbers. But like I said, uh, he probably has a hundred in the saddle, a hundred in the saddle, and another hundred. Those numbers are a whole lot smaller than what is being uh, seen here. Because he has put them in a, a box. But he took, we, Muddy decided to take part of what he had, put it in the box to get it prepared. So we have something started. Yeah, John Reed did want to finalize the $500 uh, payment for the things he was asking for. Which is kind of good. It gave us a start. And uh, we're well on our way. But in the meantime, it does uh, decrease the amount of items Muddy has to spare. So we'll pick uh, quite a few wild carrots. Let me put the game capture back on. So we'll start off harvesting a bunch of wild carrots. May take a while, probably about the first hour of the stream. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and harvest 500 all in one go. I think. I don't know how much, how much should I have to go for? Mm, what would be a somewhat of a good number? Maybe 300? I would be okay with 300. Three hundred one too bad. I noticed that Egan Stewart was awake uh yesterday, Friday and Saturday. I was just oh my god. Yesterday? See I ended up staying up to like four three o'clock in the morning. Friday night, playing video games with my uh, niece and nephews, right? It was fun. We had a great time, but man, I, uh, I went to bed and all day yesterday, I pretty much slept. So I did not do anything yesterday. Like, I was just tired. I, like, I was up at like 5.30 in the afternoon and I went back to bed at probably about a 10, 30, 11, or something like that. And then I woke up early this morning. I mean, it was well worth the time to spend with my nephews and stuff, right? But man, it really put me out. I was just not used to it. Sure, you're drinking water. Stay hydrated. Got 39 carrots. If I remember correctly, I think you get about 50. So, I want to say you get about 50 carrots if you do all five rows one time. So we're at 39. We'll, we'll count it out, but I want to say about 50. And if that's the case, we would have to do it six times to get up to 300. Hmm. This will find out.
beautiful Sunday afternoon in Wild West Roleplay. Yeah. Maybe I won't pick that much. Maybe I'll do... What? Maybe like 120 maybe? It's 300, it's like a lot of, a lot of damn wild carrots. Gotta send telegrams out. See if Hazel's around, Egan. Credence. They're out and about. Maybe we can uh, do some stuff together. You know, go hunting and things like that. I don't know. money do I have? Ooh, sixteen dollars, okay. We put up volume. I'm at sixty six carats. Am out here all alone too. Maybe it's not such a good idea to stay out here too long. But Is that a black bear way over there? Oh, it is. It's a black bear. Should have took a nap. Should have took a nap.
think what I'll do is go into Blackwater real quick. Send telegrams out. Let them know that I'm over here. And we'll come back. see let's put 78 in here so we're gonna put that in our ledger then we collect it 78 carats so far today is the night uh, Save that. No, let's go into Blackwater. Let's go into Blackwater and check our telegrams and such. Let's see what's going on. Howdy. Howdy. Oh, money, what are your prices, especially for hay and apples? Oh, that was on the six. Uh,
what was it? Fifty for the twenty dollars. I heard someone that you might not be able to make a monkey. You have a good one. You too now. All right, let's go pick some carrots. Excuse me. I had a pretty good lunch and man, my stomach is full. Damn near came close to overeating. I don't want that happening.
those things. Maybe snakes in the grass. You know what? What if I put them over here somewhere? Do what he wants inside here, this pin. Suspenseful music. There we go. Something relaxing. Cool little song, right? I didn't even check my letters. I checked telegrams, but not even my letters.
Thought I heard some horses. I do hear horses back there, but well, it's probably those horses in the stable. What am I thinking? Oh, there's the little raccoon. Our arch nemesis. see there was some options what were the options It's like take off loadout in exchange with one in inventory. No. Where was it? Settings menu. Both on your character and in chat. Oh. Does this say I'm playing Muddy Rivers? that do what is my online online status Show in Discord status, yeah. It's pretty cool. Blip settings. Oh. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they added all kinds of new features. Which is pretty cool. People can see what uh, what I'm playing, huh?
I wonder if anybody's on duty. Let me check and see if anybody's on duty. Mm. Oh, of course, yeah, Harper's on. Only one that's on duty. Still pretty early. Uh, what's let's see how many people are online right now? Forty six people online. Uh, not very many. Compared to most days, yes. Music. Musical. Thank you. 
wish I was on a land of cotton. All times they are not forgotten. Look away, look away, look away. You Dixieland, in Dixieland, where I was born in a Leon, one frosty morning. Look away, look away, look away. You Dixieland. many carrots we picked so far. His face was sharp as a butcher's cleaver, but that did not seem to cleave. Look away, look away, look away, this man. Old Mrs. acted the foolish part and died for a man. 81. Look away, look away, look away. Try to just keep going. So, gotta create a box of supplies for someone. She's gonna want some logs. I can get some matches. I guess I could start working on that. Can head out west, closer to Armadillo, make some uh some alcohol I guess. Depending on the number of items I have. That should be enough. How much do I have? Ooh. 96. Alright, that should be good enough.
Calculator. 96 plus 78 equals 174. So let's put that in the ledger. Alright. Alright, what all do I have? This is an empty box. Alright, that's an empty box. Good. It is. So we're going to add up. This back in there. Put that back in there. Which alcohol do I have? Got plenty of al alcohol. I really don't drink these days. That about right there. There we go. Move that there. These don't stack, do they? Nope. But all she needed, though, wood logs, hatches. Stews, travel food, and cheap alcohol. Hey. What these stews do I have? Alright, let's go into town. In fact, let's go this way. Cause I'm gonna need some yeast. Huh? 
All right, let's see. What are we going to need? Let's buy... 10 chanterelles. I want to send... Let's buy four carrots. Everything else I'm going to have to buy from in Blackwater. All right, see you later, boy. But I do have a mortar. Must have been a snake. There's just so many horses out there. Let him stretch his legs, let him run a little bit. Huh, it's a rabbit. Do have an axe. All right. 
There is something I want to put in there. Public telegram. Notice board. All right. Let's go get some more items. How much money do I have? Thirty three bucks. Let's see, what am I going to need? Four potatoes. Do I need corn? No, I'm going to need animal fat. Let me, I can't remember how to make it. Let's look. Carrots, potatoes, salt. No, I need animal fat and flour. I don't think I have a whole lot of animal fat. Guess I'm gonna have to go hunting for animal fat. Nope, don't have animal fat. I do have salt though. I have potatoes here, but those are my personal stuff. Salt's easy to come by. Horse there? About right here. What's this on the ground? Is this animal fat? Please let it be animal fat. Nope. Don't want it. money do I have? 24. Let's buy... What else will we need? Canned food. Let's 
We can probably buy all this stuff a little later. Let's work on what we got. All right, we're gonna have to go hunting for uh, pigs. So if that's the case, let me get my bow. Good evening, partner. Sometimes that button doesn't want to work out. See, this works out. Attic. Sometimes it wants to work and sometimes it doesn't. It's like it gets stuck sometimes. Let's go hunting for some for some piggies. I know the perfect spot to. Piggies. They'd be right down here. Come on, I want animal fat. I got a shot at two of them. The other one get away? What? 
Where'd it go? need animal fat. Those aren't pigs. Dang it, where did all the pigs go? Tell deer. Great. Whenever I need them, I can't find them. When I don't need them, you find them everywhere. What is that right there? Oh, air pig. I 
right, that one ran over there. Fucking shit. I heard the pigs come over here. I know there's one up there, but I think there's another one over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Piggy, I need your animal fat. Let's go back this way. It's time for the other one that got away. Go back to the spot.
don't see any. Some pigs over here, or what? Alright, there's no pigs over here, so we'll go back the other way. the pigs what there's no pigs Cooking pot and everything. Dang, what was this place used for? I didn't even know it was up here. Oh, what's that?
calm down, boy. Looking for animal fat. I killed like what three, three or four pigs already. Still don't have any animal fat. I'm just gonna make the dahlia some some food, but I need animal fat to do so. You should be able to purchase animal fat or some kind of a, like. What else? What, oil or something? Little pig. Alright, first person view. Shoot this thing right in its face. Just like that. Daniel, hey, what's up, man? Animal fat. What? I can't get animal fat to save the life for me, man. Jesus. How are you doing today? I had the knife out, but I had it out. Have you tried ducks or geese? They're really fatty. Really? No, I haven't. Usually I just get it from uh, the pigs. I hear one. I guess I need to go hunting for ducks and geese, but that's on the other side of the state. Sons of bitches. Ah, one got away.
animal fat. God darn it. That sucks. I don't know, I might have too many pelts. Oh no I don't. Alright. Let's go cash these in, I guess. So you say ducks or geese, huh? Isn't that on the other side of the state though? Like over there by Butcher's Creek. Oh, where do you hunt them at? Any body of water. Like the butcher will buy the animal fat, but he doesn't sell any. And it's like, that, that sucks. Dakota River. Oh, we're right here. Goes all the way up back to station. Tons of ducks. Might have to go do that. Really? I wish you can just buy them right here. Okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense. See, he buys your animal fat. He never sells it. We're going to the. Oh, I need to check my telegrams first.
Yeah, I shall wait till sunrise. Twenty-seven dollars. What are you doing? My horse just kept going, like... Really? Assholes. I don't know what what was up with that. All right. I'd like to purchase some. Hey, how much are you selling for? I can head down to Blackwater. I'm still I'm still in the area. You can get hey for. Alright, we'll wait here. It'll give me a chance to go use the bathroom anyway, so. Interact. Let's go on this side. There we go. About that. All right, we're back. Enjoy the music.
Okay, I'm back. See if she's gonna show up. Get some arrows. Should have plenty now. So we'll have to check out this river uh, you're talking about. Never really hunt for uh, geese and duck before. So you're probably right. But I can get animal fat easier by killing ducks and geese. That'd be great. I'm not getting anything out of uh, killing pigs. Nothing so far. Alright. Let's 
It's almost daylight. Maybe. Eat some food. Bring some coffee. Too quiet here. Let's see if anybody has any animal fat for a giveaway. Like, not giveaway, but uh. Send public telegram. I am looking to purchase. Animal fat. Does anyone have any to spare? Mm. Seven three one seven. I am looking to purchase. I am looking to purchase animal fat. Does anyone have any to spare? All right. That'd be easier that way. They tend to gather in groups of six or seven. Just use a pistol, or you can, sh or you can shoot, or you should get a few from each group. Okay. Well, if nobody responds to the telegram, then yeah, I, I have no choice but to do some hunting. But what I'm doing is filling up the box for Dahlia. I already got. Some items in there she may need. We got our alcohol. I didn't give her a whole bunch, but. Gave her some perfect pelts. Alcohol. Which could be a couple of items. I'm going to go do some logging. Cook some stew for her. Um... Gonna purchase a couple of things of coffee. I should go do that right now. And some matches. Yeah. Yeah, nice, All right? I'm gonna buy some canned food. That's something she requested. I got spare logs that I can use. Hopefully nobody took our house. Because I still plan on moving my stuff over there. Alright, let's buy three... Three matches. The matches that there they are. We oh, got matches for three dollars a piece. What? Um, two things of coffee. Um, 
What else will she need? Matches, coffee, canned food. She's going to need canned food. Uh, glasses, corn syrup. Let's get her two of these, two of these. Oh, I don't have enough cash now. That's six dollars. Let's go to the bank. Yeah, matches be steep. Yeah, they man, I didn't realize they were three dollars a pack. Can they be crafted? Mm, I don't think they can. A draw. 30 bucks. That's why I always keep spare money in every bank that it, that's available. Put money in Dip Blackwater, put money in Valentine, put money in Rhodes, and also put money in uh, St. Denis. You know, emergencies. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of money, but there is money out there. So, where was that? Two cans of corned beef. Canned peaches. Canned peas. Pineapple. Salmon. Strawberries. Oh my god, I'm already out of cash. Yeah. It. Everything wasn't so freaking expensive. Straw from another bank. Roads, I have a hundred and seventy. Let's withdraw. $58 there. $58. Should be more than enough. See, I thought I bought three packs of matches. Can of pineapples, strawberries. Oh, it's salmon. Strawberries, sweet corn. Mm. I'll get her some candy. A couple of packs of cigarettes. Could get her some awful. Some beer. Here, I'll get her two more. Um, salt, it's easy to come by. I think I have a bunch of salt in my, on my horse. Is there anything else that she might need?
I don't see anything else she might need. Alright. So. Matches. Check. I need medical supplies. Stews I gotta cook. If I get animal fat. I got travel food. I got cheap alcohol. I have hay that I can give her. Yeah, whatever, I'll spot you. Credence has hit a rich vein of gold today. <laughs> nice. So are you going to be playing later? Or are you just going to be uh, chilling for today? I don't think... Um, I don't think Hazel's gonna wake up today. Oh no, she says she'll be on soon. Wow. That was about 10 minutes ago. Sweet. Works th tomorrow, dude. Believe me, it's killing me. I can't, but definitely tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, I'll probably jump on uh, Ignite RP. Plus, yeah. Today's Wild West. Tomorrow's Ignite. Addy? Addy. Buddy, you need Anapine, I would reach out to William Tallgrass. He is super reliable and I use him for all my gathering work. Uh, thank you for the information. William Tallgrass, is he even awake? Probably not awake. Cool. The flood is with the icky sicky. <laughs> we flood LS with the icky sticky bud. Plus, I need to get my bike. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. All right, let's get all this stuff together. What a box. Use. Um, first is logs. Matches. Uh, then we can put in... I need some space there. Canned food. Uh, we'll put in the beer. Uh oh, did she run out of space? Oh my gosh, she ran out of space. It's all the stuff I, sh all the shit I bought. Just in there. Alright. Let's head to 
Dakota River. Dakota River. Money to have now thirty one dollars. Should be coming up to the Dakota River now. And it's uh, four deputies. All right. This should be the mouth of the Dakota River, I think. Pretty sure. Check my map. Yep. This is the Dakota River. Let's see. East. That's what we're looking for. Oh, wait. I... I hear one. Where's it at? Here, duck. You walk the shore, they tend to gather up in groups on the ground. Ah, 
Oh, okay. I think I see one. There's one. Should I shoot it or should I use my bow? Let's try my bow first. Come on, animal fat. Oh man. So animal fat. Get this thing. Destroy the evidence. No, not. There we go. Alright, I guess the horse is thirsty. That's not a duck. That's a cormoran. Looks like a duck to me. It was crested com cormoran. Ah. Oh. Son of a bitch. I scared it. A woodpecker. Jackrabbit. Scrap. Oh, really? Frog. Hmm. You little son of a bitch. Here we go. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, no. Son of a bitch. 
All right, horse. Stay right here. Oh, wait. Perfect. What the? I didn't even do anything. Why do they keep flying away? This isn't going well. There's a mallard duck right there. Alright, got one. Come on, animal fat. Yeah, yeah, I got an egg. Is there any more? I hear some. I don't see any. Pacific Loon? What is that right there? That's not a geese, is it? So don't shoot it, right? There's no point in shooting that one. Alright, let's start walking the other way. That's a goose that, that, oh, really? Yeah. But I don't see him. Where are they at? I'm ready for them. I hear it, but I don't see it anywhere.
think they're just making fun of me, teasing me everywhere. What's that? Ducks. Oh yeah. Skin. Oh, okay, when well, they're usually flying. Oh look, there's some right there. Oh, bird meat. Feathers. I see some more right there. No animal fat. for them to respond. They made it so rare. Oh, I believe it, dude. Down close by the bridge in that middle island by there, usually a lot. Oh, what's there? All right, let's go check it out. What's that? Oh, a muskrat. to the little island. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Those are rocks. Oh. 
There we want one. Goose. I bet I can hit it from here. Maybe. I missed. I should have waited. <laughs> Oh, look, there's some more. Usually a lot. Okay. We can wait here. I see a whole bunch over there. Oh, those are rocks. Are you murdering the frogs? So I missed that first shot. So I have three animal fat. Do I have my cooking pot with me? I do. Nice. Cook it all up later. So far, this is going a whole lot better than killing pigs the entire time. Can I help you, mister? Scare off my geese. You son of a bitch. The 
the fuck? Oh, there's one. I'm not gonna mess it up this time. I'm gonna get closer. Animal fat, please. Oh, what a bummer. Western Tanager. Oh, yeah, he was rude. He didn't even say anything. Hmm, a guy dressed up in all black. Hmm. Bust out my gun. Hey, bang. Is that another one right there? Or is there one that I already killed? Oh, that's one I already killed. Okay. Alright. Let's walk up the river some. Oh, there's one right there. said to someone in, in the mine who was rude turned out their TS without working ended up chatting for ages she was lovely I felt so bad <laughs> See any over there? Hello. Yes. Whole bunch of them. Let's try to get kind of close to them. Oh, 
We'll get the far one, and then we'll get the one that's close to us. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Hurry. The other one's getting away. Yes, animal fat. Oh god, it's getting away. Animal fat. Alright. How many do we have total? I think I'm gonna need like eight. We got more than enough. We need four. But if I hunt for a little extra, you know, it doesn't hurt, right? More, more eggs. Well, yeah, eggs wouldn't be bad. You can always buy eggs. So plentiful. Oh, there's one. Right? Oh, it's a dead one. Alright. Let's walk the shore, I guess. Alright. Uh, that should be good enough. Now, um... That's why you use the pistol? I think I'm good. This will be more than enough. Donkey. Give me donkey. There's some pigs. Hazel Hawkins. All right. I can come by and give a hand if you need. Uh oh. Quite a 
look you're sporting there, my friend. Like it. Rosalind Nikolai. Now the people there are selling a Animal fat come out of the wood birds. Oh, yeah, I got tons of candy canes. Tons of candy canes. Uh, 232 on me and there's like a hundred candy canes and that order rear for uh for a sheriff John Reed. Alright. Head into Valentine, I guess. Keep me to it. Yeah, man, I can give you more than 20. Shit. Give you 100 if you want. They're so light. They're really cheap to make. Every time you, you have ingredients for one set, You'll get six candy canes out of one ingredient. I usually, what I did was made, I think I had enough ingredients for like, I don't know, I think it was like, what, 20 or something like that? I just, a uh, sugar cube. You ate the others. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I have enough for you. Yeah, for every ingredient for a sugar cane, you get six. So I was, I think I bought like maybe 20 or 30 items. And I made like 300 of them or 500. I don't remember how much. But it was a bunch. Where you're getting the wild mint. Uh, I get the wild mint from the Manzanita Post. You know, the herbalist. Um, the one on top of that hill by the shooting tree and the other one is over there by Beecher's Hope. Yeah. This will go this way. It's getting hot in here. Let's take the jacket off.
turn the fan on too. Buy some meat with thirty one dollars. Eight mutt. Get the bowl. Grab the other canteen. Let's see, how's it go? Um, one here, one here, carrot, animal fat, canteen, flour. I forgot to make six. I thought I made three. So I was wrong. Two. Uh, later. I guess I'm going to be making 24 items. Might keep some. A lot of stew. am I missing? Flour, bowl, oh the potato, potatoes. Excuse me mister. Mm hmm? Mind if I uh, use cooking pot when you're done? Oh yeah, uh, no problem. Um, I'm actually done right now. Oh 
Nice. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't you that nice guy who sold me those shit tons of apples a couple of weeks back? Yeah. Muddy Rivers. Oh, sure. oh, nice to see yeah. you, Mr. Rivers. How are you keeping? Uh, I'm keeping busy. Um, just, uh, filling orders. You know how that goes. Doing a lot of business. Yeah. yeah. Well, sure, good to see you up, right? In good health. It's nice to see you. Yeah, how have you been? How you been? I've been just fine, you know. Been around here, around here. Nothing really interesting going on. Well, are you at least in, enjoying your time here in the territory? I mean, like... You could say that, I suppose. I'm not dead, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. I go as far as I'm enjoying it. Just a shame that some of the people in here to see it. Oh. Wait. What do you mean, what people? <laughs> Friends of mine. Oh. Killed in a shootout, June 16th. A shootout, you say? With who? The deputies, to be specific, Mr. Rivers. Oh, the deputies. Yeah. Yeah. They weren't good people, but... Actually, nah. We're not bad. We weren't bad people, Mr. Rivers. We just did bad things. We weren't like the other bloodthirsty maniacs you find running around this goddamn place. Yeah, the, uh... Well, I know for one, the deputies are always trigger happy. Oh, fucking A that is, Mr. Rivers. You sound like you speak from experience. Uh... Yeah, um... I've been around here long enough to see it done. Never had it happen to me before yet. Hopefully not. But I have seen it done several times. Some people you care about? Yeah, it's just, uh, I tend to escalate a lot. Yeah, that happens. No, they escalate it, and then they fucking blame it on us. Yeah. It's funny. They walked into our goddamn home, guns fucking drawn, and expected us to cooperate. Like, fuck, we was gonna cooperate. You familiar with Miss, with Miss Rex Moody, Mr. Rivers? Uh, I know her, of her. I've never really, uh, talked to her one-on-one. -on -one. No. I know she's dead. Uh, I think someone told me about that, but yeah. Yeah, I know her and a couple of other people have passed. Yeah. A lot of them. Oh. Well, put it bluntly, I mean, it wasn't for her... And her friends back in Texas, uh, people like me and others that lived, that grew up there while they were being the Rangers, uh, they kept us safe, you know what I mean? Apaches were wild, Apaches were wild. They would come in and burn our towns and pillage. Oh my God. Thank Christ, you're not some. Forgive me for sounding a little bit. Ferocious with my wits, Mr. Rivers. But thank ah. God. You're not some goddamn apologist. You fucking acknowledge what they did. Yeah, what we did was no better. You acknowledge that we weren't the ones who were immediately to blame. They came ah. in, they took they took your cattle, they burned our land. <laughs> Motherfucking cocksuckers didn't have the audacity to fucking throw all the blame our way. It's a touchy subject, and I apologize. <sighs> uh, uh, I get it. Uh oh. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to lose my cool like that. Nah, no, no. It's fine. Why don't you sit down? I got cigarettes if you want them. 
not sure how to do that. What about in Texas? Where you're from? Uh, place called uh, Kingsville. It's about south of Corpus Christi in South Texas. Texas. Shit, really? <laughs> Fuck it, a small world. Really? <laughs> I was stationed not too far out there, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I imagine so. Uh, they were. I remember y'all always working on the King Ranch, you know, making sure that the ranch stayed uh, cleared from the uh, Mexican army and stuff, bandits. Fuck me, Dad. What year was this? I'm sorry, do what? What year was it? What year? Oh. Yeah, yeah it must have been, uh, say, in the 1830s and 40s. <laughs> a little bit before my time. <laughs> oh, that was just a baby back then. Shit. How old is you, Mr. Rivers? You don't look that old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm actually 37. So, yeah. So, a twinkle in your father's eye, huh? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I looked up to them, you know what I mean? That's it, that, that was like... Every boyhood just dream, you know what I mean? To become a ranger. Then they, uh, kind of dispersed them when the Comanche and Apache gave up and they were limited in numbers and stuff, so they didn't need them anymore. They kind of threw them to the side. Oh, you don't know the fucking half of it. You think oh. the army gets it bad? Fuck me sideways, Mr. Rivers. We got it like shit. One minute they come, they say, yeah, come on down. Come on down to Texas, to the border. We got a job for you to do. In the minute, the fucking minute they were done with us, they chucked us aside like a used fucking, like a used pair of boats. No compensation, no nothing. I was fucking lucky because the stuff that I took, the British wanted. Sold it out to them. Collectors, the museums, that sort of thing. Yeah. Nah, they they did a story. What a fucking cock sucking sons of bitches. I apologize if my certain now boy started you, Mr. Rivers. Dredges up a lot of memories. Don't even worry about it. I just, uh... That's what I remember. So, uh, Rex, they got Rex Moody, and who else did they get? Dallas Rockwell. Dallas. Mm. Yeah. Dallas Rockwell. Raymond Gallagher. Gallagher. I've heard that name before. You might get him confused for failing that useless dipshit bunny hunter. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, and that, that's probably what it was. Or some shit. Yeah. There was a bit of confusion for a little while to see if that was related, but no. Pretty sure Gallagher is a Scottish name, so. Pretty common. What I use. There was another one, too. It's Irish, dude. Get it right. <laughs> Very good oh. friend of mine. His name was Ezekiel. 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 Uh-huh. Ezekiel Gunn. 
He uh, had an outlaw status for a little while. Got it because I kidnapped the judge. Ransomed him. Ezekiel is all better. Yeah, actually. His last name was Gunner? No. Gun. Oh. Gun with two ends. Oh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Damn. It was a preacher. Every time we left the fort to go do our work, he said a prayer for us. He was a good man. Very good man. He was the last one to die. Dallas got shot first. He got filled with lead out front in the middle of the goddamn gate. Ezekiel and Raymond. Ezekiel and Raymond took point at the front. Me and Rex Modi were stationed at the back. There was another one of us. Boy Pearson. Good man. They fought and they died like soldiers. Mr. Modi. Oh shit. Hello, oh, he's you. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's me. You. He? Hello, kid. How are you doing? Dinner and yourself? I'm still alive, aren't I? Yeah. I suppose it same goes for me. No, good to hear it. Your name's Hazel? Yeah. Nice to, nice to find a feature, Hazel. Miss Hazel yeah. Hawkins at your service. Oh no. I'm more like amateur service. <laughs> How so? I mean, eh, you need someone roughed up. Someone's being mean to you. Give me a, give me a shot. Uh, I might need someone roughed up. Oh, who? Well, who was, who was it this I guess time? I'll have to pay you first. No, no. Give me the details for you, and I'll consider it. Some native girl and a blonde friend. Native girl and a blonde friend. Kidnapped me from the forge over here what? when I was working. Took me up into the mountains, beat me out against a tree. Some there, native... Her name's Maisie. Maisie, Maisie. You know the Doyles? Yeah, I do, yeah. What they got against you? What they do that to you for? They just rooted me on my far back. Let me get this straight. They muffed you off. I assume that means they insulted you? Sorry. I'm yeah. not too familiar with your lingo. They just gave right. me lip, and all they was doing was sticking a knife into a barrel, fighting me. So oh, really? I said, I'm going to the cops. You went to go to the deputies and then what? I don't know. I was just fucking with them. Fair enough. Hey, whatever you choose to do in the face of other people is entirely your choice, Miss Hawkins. Yeah. All the same. And then what happened? They decided to dress up in d different clothing and whatnot. And they snagged me from uh, over here. Took me up into the mountains, gave me a little talk. And uh, ne next thing I know, I'm having to walk down from some native reservation. You verify this? Um, she has scars on the back of her head. She even said that she had to pull the bark scars. It's just a little mark. Miss Hawkins, don't matter if it's a little mark or not. If those two run their mouths 
and you run your mouth back, and they decide that they want to take you somewhere and bash your fucking head in to the point where it leaves a scar? That ain't right. I believe from your over the pond in uh, London, I believe you guys call that dodgy, something like that. Just a bit, yeah. yeah. Oh fuck them! That's what I did to you. Fuck them. All right. I think I know what the people you're talking about. One, one of them carries a bow, right? Yeah, like a uh, deer antlers or something. Or mm. what was it? Teeth. I think it was teeth. Teeth. Yeah, oh. like uh, but look, they had one of them dinosaurs or what, whatever from the swamp. I don't know what the what a dinosaur is, but fair enough. Uh, big ass fucking lizard. They eat it, the kind. They, they just sort of make like a little dull, dull kind of growling noise. I think they sort of a crocodile or a gator, yeah. Oh. Okay. Alright. I'll keep an eye out. I can't say about 100% it's them, but. I mean, based on the descriptions I've given. That's the name I got back, was Maisie. Maisie, and uh, you said a friend of hers was blind? He. And they dressed native? He. That narrows it down quite a bit. Okay. Alright. One of them had like a p purple lever on uh, their, their gun and stuff too. Don't one of these guys run a, um, a shop of some kind? Uh, yeah, can... but... Since then, they've been laying right low. I've only ever seen uh, Miss Doyle around. Hmm. Interesting. No fucking wonder. They try and make a point and two cow to back it up. I think your beast's getting a little bit stable over there, Miss Hawkins. Yeah. She does that. Try to. That's right, me. <laughs> Swear to God, if you kick me, you're going to the glue factory. Yeah, from what I gather from the information she gave me, it was amazing Doyle and Ele Eleanor Doyle. Um, they're uh, married. Uh, they may be part of the remnants. Don't know, 100% sure. Because they were wearing purple. I just assume. Don't make me make me brown bread. Eleanor Doyle. Amazing. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I think she actually likes what I say that to her. Say what? Say what, sorry? Oh, just fret me horse. Told her <laughs> that if she kicks me, and send her there to the glue factory. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and only fret. Horse did not know better. <laughs> I actually call her glue factory sometimes. Oh shit. Wait. She is a she is a she's a mare, right? Not a stallion? Mm-hmm. Okay, thank god. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't dream of her, no. No, so you shouldn't. No, people people don't give the horses they res what they respect. They don't give them what they respect. They respect me horse plenty. Oh, Checking and see if my horse is back there. Well, discipline's fine. Just don't be cruel to him. You know. Ain't got no respect for people who's cruel to their horses. The base carries you from point A to point B. You walk it, you feed it, you water it. You give that animal the respect of the voice. It's not a goddamn carriage for a coach or a tram. One guy had a, had a problem with one guy once. Someone suggested we shoot his horse. I turned around and said, You shoot his horse, I'll shoot you. Okay, I didn't. Yeah. yeah. Horse don't know no better. Why should you shoot the fucking horse? You shouldn't. Exactly. Do you wish that people would import some of my uh, horseless carriages and whatnot, like you see back in London? Can't say I see one of them. You mean trams? Uh. No. It's petrol powered. You what? gotta go to a pharmacy and get get fuel for it, but it's good stuff. 
I think mm. they, they go up to like 30 miles an hour. Just as fast as a horse, but you know. 30 miles an hour. All you have to hour. do is just sit, sit there and turn a fucking wheel. You don't gotta feed it nothing? You don't gotta water it? Just fuel. And you gotta make sure you oil it. Shit. That's what so, fancy it is. Sounds very strange. Hi. Um, I, I oh. hate to interrupt your conversation. Uh -huh. Oh, hello. Are any of you Thomas? Uh, uh no. I'm Muddy Rivers. <laughs> uh, Christopher oh. Long, nice to meet you. Uh, hey, so Hawkins. At your service. Um, Rivers, I believe you were the one selling the hay? Yes, I am. Yeah, I've, I've been off doing other things. I mean, if oh. you have the time, I'd be more than happy to buy some from you. Um, but I was just wondering, whose Missouri Foxtrotter is that? That would be mine. Ah. There's a gentleman by the name of Thomas Prescott, which is looking for a horse in similar description but I wasn't entirely sure if you guys had found it, so... Yeah, that's Applejack. Uh, ah! He was uh, two, two years old. A uh, pretty young horse. Yeah. I wasn't sure, though, because the, the tack didn't quite seem what Thomas was describing, but I thought I would ask. I'm guessing someone nicked the fox trotter. Yes, um, is what I can assume. Um, is that one? Hmm? Uh, um, for the <laughs> hay, um... Oh, yeah, yeah. What are you selling it for? Oh, okay, like, if you want to, uh, 50 hay, it would be $15, uh, or you want, if you want 25, it will be half the cost, so seven fifty. And I'll do 50 Okay, I'll throw in a couple of candy canes as well. You, can... you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, the candy canes, uh, the horses love them. If not, you can eat them. <laughs> well, I, I've never given mine a candy cane, so maybe she'll enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Careful, uh, that's just a dick. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back. Yeah, he was a good role player. I was not ready for that. I was like, oh my god. Like, oh shit. I definitely was not ready for that. All right, I'll put that one in there and I'll refill this one. Uh, I got all this shit here. The animal fat down there. We can sell all the rest, but let me get to 50, uh, 50 hay, and we'll give her, like, two candy canes, no big deal. Put it down in my ledger. Mm, 50. Today is the 191st day of the year. Two candy canes. Uh, 191st day of the year. Save the Excel document. All right, all good. Okay, here you go. And it was 15, you said. Uh, yes. There you go. Thank you so much. Right. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Um, if you ever need any more, I got apples, wild carrots, hay, you can reach out to me or uh, Hazel Hawkins, who's right here to my left, and 
Uh, I have a couple of other employees. One's Agan Stewart, and the other one's uh, Credence Walker. Cre it's Walker, right? Hazel? Or something like that? Uh, Wakefield. Walker. No, Credence. Wait, Wakefield? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah sorry. Right. <laughs> he, he's rather new, so I haven't gotten familiar with his name yet. <laughs> Good. Good. Well, thank you so much. This hay should at least get me through uh, finishing up my training with my current horse. So. <laughs> okay. Got to get right. her ready for the next Grand Prix. Hopefully, I'll be able to participate. So. Oh, the horse race. Uh huh. Well, I'm not a racer yet, but I thought I would maybe try my hand on the next one. Mm. See what happens. Yeah. Well, I will leave you to it, and you three have a wonderful evening. Here we go, right. McCarthy. Hold on a moment. Take it easy. So if you do decide to race, I can lend you an horse. A good one. A real good one. Oh, I was planning on only saying uh, just for a whole year, so. Where's that at? I got myself a black overall Mustang. A real oh, nice horse. Good. It is not only very fast. It's got the stamina to boot. Is that, is that the one that looks like it's wearing the soul mask with the spots? Yeah. Ah. Well, I will definitely take down your information and I will, I will think about it for sure. <laughs> I could gallop that horse from here all the way to Fort Johannesburg. Uh, At a gallop. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's fucking beast. I'm wearing the wrong horse. <laughs> Just a fart, anyways. Yeah. Uh, my PO box is, uh, you, you got pen handy. Yes, uh, let me actually. What is the point of that dice thing? I, I, I don't know what he's rolling for. I have no clue. Okay, I missed the river game that much. Oh, right. uh, yeah, I'm just, um, I got so much shit going on right now that I got to remind myself every so often because my memory isn't all that good sometimes. I tend to forget a lot. I just, I, you know, one too many times being knocked off my horse does it to you. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of, when it comes to details, I just forget, and, yeah, I'm doing an order for uh, a lady named uh, Dahlia Quinn, uh, up in Coulter, and so that's, trying to remind myself to get the items she requested so I can take it up there when... Yeah, it kind of is. I mean, but it's for the for the people of Coulter. They don't have a general store or anything over there, so um, Hazel, uh, I agreed, and so did Hazel that we would uh, take some items up there for, um, you know, like food, dogs, and things like that, matches, blankets, medical supplies. Hmm. Sorry about that little business. Just offering a bit, bit of uh, service to the lady. Yeah. Decent, honest, hard working people. Nice to see you. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Mm. I, I never was one for money, you know what I mean? Because money comes and goes. I mean, some people have it, some people don't. But, um, I find it when I do... Uh, Deeds such as that, you know, it, it like kind of pays off in the end because, you know, they remember me doing something good for them, you know. Well, I know what you mean. Money comes and goes, but thoughts and feelings of the people you impact, they stay. Yeah. That's what they don't have. Mr. 
Miss Hawkins? Yes. Did I ever apologize to you for that uh, initial encounter we had in Blackwater? Uh, I think so. I don't even remember. Yeah, just let it go. No, fair enough. So did I. Just got to try to remember, make sure I did apologize. Though. Uh, I hopefully, I wasn't too rude back. If uh... no, no, no. You you thought I pointed up? You thought I pointed a gun at you? You had every right to draw yours. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I mean, it's true that uh, we might have gone off on the wrong foot, but mm. I don't really mind either way. Either the way. Life's too short. <coughs> oh, Christ. Mm. Right. Yeah. Life's a bitch, and then you die. Life's a bitch, then you die. Wise words, Miss Hawkins. You should become a philosopher. <laughs> Just so, I don't know. So, uh, what are you going to do with yourself now that what's happened happened? I mean, what are your plans from here on out? Well, that's for me and, uh, that's for me and the people involved to know. Oh, I see. I see that. Other ones who were uh, involved. Well, I see them all. The other members of the Rangers who weren't there. There's a couple of us left. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, I was, the, I was the only survivor from our side of the ship. Walked away with this. Well, if you ever, uh, if y'all ever find yourselves in need of, uh, any, like, supplies and stuff like that, and y'all really can't go into town, just let me know, or let Hazel know, and she can get a hold of me, and, you know, when times get rough, so. That'd be greatly appreciated, Mr. Lewis. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Well... I thought I should miss uh, Hawkins over here. I'm aware of the warrant that I have. I'm trying to kidnap Miss Jenkins, but I wasn't going to hurt him. I'm sure my word about it. And lastly, I just went to the fucker's badge. <coughs> <laughs> hey. Well, either way, I was just a little startled by everything. <laughs> <laughs> to worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't often. I have. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I guess I got a little excitement out of it. I was right bored I was. So thank you. Don't, Don't exactly about. say that, uh... I'm necessarily one of the uh, people on the up and up, but, you know, I'm not on the the, the low side of things. don't live under a rock. So, yeah. you know. I get you. That's what you mean. It does have a, a little thrill. Yeah. A little bit of, a little bit of excitement. So, um, sure has been quiet today, you know? It has been. I think it's because of that, uh, wagon. You know, the, the money one. Yeah. The what? You don't know about that? No, I have no clue what you are talking about. Yeah, hold on, I got, I got a, I got something here, hold on.
pin across multiple clever monsters. Those in New Alexandria that are interested, word has come through that banks are moving money as far west as Armadillo to as far east as Santa Nay. On Sunday the 19th around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. What other banks they go along to on the way, we're unsure of. But those who are willing to take the risk, payday is around the corner. With delivery of this note, expect a lot of security with transport. Absurdity with Sign the party I want, thank you. He said the the ninth or the nineteenth. I guess that's Nine. already come to pass. Yeah, it has. That's that oh, so. Oh, damn. Yeah, I guarantee you, if we went to the telegram office right now, we'd probably see a fucking doctor's call to Santana or something. Huh. Saying something along the lines of, Four deputies got shot. Please help. Dear God, there's uh, so, some fire. Lucifer's come up from the earth. It's come to put a pitchfork up my ass. <laughs> Usually how it goes. It is. It is. Oh dear. Well, I guess we'll see how that goes. Get too comfy there, Miss Hawkins. I think we're about. I think we were about to go make a move. All right. I might have to head back to Dennis. <sighs> Fair enough. He check just floors to clean and whatnot. Is it? Uh, uh, Cassidy's place open now. Hands it off. Uh, I think it's uh, going to be doing it more often because uh, it's quite a popular li little thing. Oh shit. Good on him. Yeah. I do work for Mr. Archie quite well, so. Huh. I get yeah, thank you for the raid, absurdity. Admit me, I'm not the perfect that. waitress, but I did the job. He was a waitress. Oh. Welcome to the stream, guys. Mm -hmm. Can I tip you good? Yeah. Good. What a goddamn shot. Uh, I gotta charge my. People that don't tip waitresses and waiters are goddamn cocksucking sons of bitches. Don't let no cocksucker tell you otherwise. They're the lowest been a of the few. low. Really? Oh, yeah. But you know, it is what it is. Get paid well for me job. Tip your waitresses and waiters. Always sure. Oh, uh, yeah. After all, I'm the one singing the booze. And, exactly. uh, get, getting in the food nice and hot. I even have to tolerate the burning fingers. How many high, How many of those hoity toity? Oh, look at me. I'm from the great palace up north or something. What are those kind of customs you get? Quite a few, actually. Motherfucker. Pardon my language. I can think of a couple that even Mr. Muddy knows that are a bit, uh. No, no zuppity. Really? He. Yeah. But I'm not gonna name names or nothing. No, no, you don't have to. I just think that it's a scummy thing to do, not tip your waitress. Hmm. It is, but we don't uh, force people to uh, pay, pay us. We just, you know, yeah, I politely uh, hope that they do. Well, I mean, put it like this. I don't have to hold the door open for the woman passing through, but I do, so... Fancy fucking restaurant. Fuck this <coughs> I don't know. Oh. I got a bit of about that. All right, you got it's something in my throat. It's okay. My sister, my sister worked as a waitress. Oh. Yeah. yeah. 
Got four of them. She was the youngest of them. Joe. Worked as a waitress up in New York. Hmm. Nice boy, she didn't tip her. She threw him over a table and she lost the job. <laughs> 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 That she wasn't the one that did it. Timmy was the only one that did that. I don't know what that was fucking funny. So, this big upper class snob comes in the restaurant, right? Orders a coffee. Looks like, the guy looks like he's made of money. He puts Uncle Sam to shame. So, goes in, orders a coffee. She brings him his coffee. Best thing she's ever done. He doesn't even so much as look the way. He says, Where's my sugar? No, please. No, thank you. Where's my food? So, she goes in the back, and her big sister comes out. Imogen. Walks over to the table, grabs the guy by his wrist, throws him over the table, plants her fucking shoe on his chest, and goes, Here's your sugar, you cocksucker, and drops two packets of sugar on his face. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Them. Hey. Well, I, I bet he was uh very polite after that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he was. He was. He was very polite. He said his face and thank yous and everything. Put that when Imogen was on shit. Never fucked with Joe ever again. Anyway. I get the impression I'm holding you two's up, so. Nah, not really. I mean. Just uh, just cooking some items for Dahlia. This one stopped over here, and I think eventually I was gonna go over there and chop some logs. I think she wanted some different logs, and I was gonna make her some willow bark tea and all this other shit. Well, that guy's then I suppose I'll let you go get back to it. Hey. Well, it was good talking to you, man. And, uh, like I said, don't be afraid to reach out when you need some supplies when things get rough, all right? Oh, gosh, Mr. Burgess. I can't guarantee I'll respond to the telegram, but I definitely will. If you do ever need anything, say you don't feel safe, and you want to go somewhere, they meet someone you don't quite like, feel free to reach out. All right. Oh, my. All right, all right. Oh, don't get it confused. My name is not spelled like what you lock your door with, or oh, Loch Ness. It's spelled L-O-C-H-E. Yeah, it's like the Scottish spelling. That's right. Just with the extra E. Alright. Alright, do pardon, but me horse is slowly slipping away. I was gonna say, he's, he's really made some distance. Ten points. Alright. Alright, right, you have a good one. You as well. Ah, uh, still away, go. <clears throat> when is notches? When is notches? When is notches? <laughs> <laughs> What's that even mean? Ah, uh, it means good. Good night. Or good yeah, evening. Right. Bueno means good. Notches means. Night. Well, you learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. Gu guessing that's Spanish. Uh, it is. Yes. Well, this is what I've been working on. Uh, I was doing some cooking. I got all the stews and stuff like that. Um, did I tell you about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were there during Dahlia Quinn, right? She wrote to me, and she gave me a list of everything she would want. And, oh, my God. Just keep it between me and you and I. I, I reached out to uh, Ramona uh, Hess, right? I was like, hey, Ramona. Because uh, I dealt with her before, like, business-wise, right? And I was like... Ramona, you think you can provide, like, uh, some stews for uh, Dahlia um, and the people up there in Coulter and 
and uh you know like on a monthly basis and she was acting like i was pulling her teeth or something like that like like i was trying to she let's put it this way she wasn't too thrilled to hear that dolly was requesting these items she thinks uh She thinks that I'm supplying Dahlia and not the uh, people of Coulter. And I don't know. It, it, it was like, you know, don't. I told her, I was like, you know, don't feel obligated to do this. She was like, well, do you know Dahlia? And I was like, no, I don't know her, bro. I'm just doing this out of the goodness of my heart. You know what I mean? And um, it was just an awkward conversation we had. I am never going to do business with that woman again. She... Um, well, she, if uh, you don't mind me saying, um, not to sound rude or not like beating Miss Delia down, but she does seem like the type who, uh, well, how do I put it in the politest way possible? Oh, well, just, you don't she have to put her in the play, just say it. Alright, I'll rip the bandage off. She is very, very down on herself, and she often seems like she is uh, a person who makes herself out to be a victim. Oh, okay. Well, I'm a good judge of character. I read people. Okay. So, why was Ramona so pissed off about? Well, kind of upset that this is happening or something. Well, I mean, I can't promise I know, but. I got suspicion that maybe they got some sort of history between one another and uh, it might involve someone or uh, another that is uh, an unknown in the mix. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're probably right. They, yeah, um, it sounded like Ramona knew her, knew Dahlia, but even then, if I give the supplies to Dahlia and stuff like that, I don't even care. It's just the fact that that supplies is up there and it's there when it's needed. You know what I mean? Well, business is business either way. Yeah. It's not necessarily all place to give a shit whether or not a person is the, what one of those is, oh, woe is me, or what, what not. The mm. point is just doing it and getting the money for it. Yeah. Well, I do have the, I do have the majority of everything. Uh, in fact, here. Um, I'll let you look in the crib. Let me, let me tell you everything she requested, okay? Alright. Alright, she said, uh, wood logs. Matches. Uh, logs? Matches? Yeah, she said medical supplies, especially painkillers, bandages, and saline. I'm not able to get painkillers because that's got to be prescribed by doctors or something like that. So I'm just gonna tell. I already told her that I can get everything else but the painkillers, and she was okay with that. I mean, um, that then she. Painkillers that is over the counter though, stuff that you can just buy, buy in the regular. Really? Oh well, yeah. Well, so I was gonna make her some uh, like willow bark tea. I was gonna try to get some like bone broth or uh, try to buy some items off of a doctor or something like that. And then, of course, I was going to get some bandages and saline, which is not that, you know, iodine, things like that, that uh, they can use for, like, uh, wounds and stuff. Well, I mean, if she does need something special, uh, you know, give me a nudge nudge and I'll give you a wink wink and put your business that way. Okay, well, if you can try to, uh, get, like, maybe... Like a bottle or two of painkillers, then do it. If you can't, don't worry about it. But, uh. Well, I know people. Well, there's people and they know that. I can maybe get this stuff off of. Okay. She also suggested stews and travel food. Stews I just made, travel food I bought a whole bunch for. Uh, she also asked for cheap alcohol. I gave her. I have a bunch of alcohol that I haven't used in a long time. But it is like, you know, like wine, rum, whiskey, vodka. Um, also got her some beer. She wants that. I got her a pack of cigarettes if she smokes. Um, and then she asked for hay. 
which is something that we can provide. I mean, no big deal, right? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to let me grab the the box, the crate. I put it in. I have to buy another box because there's not enough space in this one. But yeah, if you can look through it and see if you think that's just that's the majority of it and see if she would like those items. Oh, shit. Papa Jack, don't get pissy. <laughs> what underneath the tent? Block myself. Alright, let's see. Now. This is everything that I collected so far. I am going to buy another crate because everything doesn't fit in one crate. So uh, take a, a gander. All right, so I'm going to hit your horse. Matches, you got kind of apricots and peas and oh yeah. I mean, I'm going to separate the two crates. Like, I'm going to have some items in one and then other items in another. But, yeah. Um, make it all nice and neat for whenever we deliver it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, if you need me to, I'll certainly see if I can uh, locate something stronger if that's what she wants. But uh, you didn't get it from me. Okay. Um... Oh no, has his with contraband. Oh. I didn't know that. Well, yeah. Y you think they're gonna let some little numpty like me have uh, something like morphine or. No, 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 no. Is that what painkillers is? Morphine? Well, if she's meaning morphine, then. That's something else, but. Yeah. Uh, I, t I tell you what. Don't get the painkillers. Uh, do you know of doctors that we can, uh, that you may know that are awake right now and see if we can get some supplies? Like, uh, don't worry about the Willow Bart tea, mainly like a uh, bone broth or some um, bandages, things of that nature, threads, needles. I can talk to Mr. Archie and see if he can help me out with that. Okay. And. While you're doing that, I'm gonna go when daylight comes around. I'm gonna go log uh, over there at the Cumberland Forest and chop down, uh, chop some trees and stuff. All right. And uh, maybe we can meet up uh, sometime today or something like that. If not today, maybe tomorrow or, or uh, Tuesday. Yeah, I'll definitely be down in St. Dennis. Okay, yeah, try to work on that end, and I'll worry about the rest, uh, everything else. So, yeah, we're going to have everything okay. she needs. I'm a nice little rat. I can pull some strings for you. <laughs> yeah, if you could do that for me, that'd be great. Yeah, if it is morphine that she needs, then hell no. Okay. All right, just mainly threads, needles, bandages. Um, saline, iodine, doesn't matter one or the other. I'll get the whole doctor's bag. Hell yeah. And if you need any money, let... If you need any money, let me know. What we say, Mr. Muddy? Oh, I was saying. Um, yeah, I got off. I was saying, if you uh, need any money for those items, uh, just let me know, and I can reimburse you or whatever. If if you want to pay for it, and then I'll just reimburse you. All right. Yeah. I'll let you uh, know what I can get. Okay. All right. 
I'm gonna go get in another crate so I can put some more items in there. But uh, yeah, uh, try to reach out to me before you go to bed today, or I'll reach out to you before I go to bed today, and then if not, we'll settle everything on Tuesday, okay? Yeah, I'll be around for about an hour or so. Yeah, me too. Take or less. <laughs> you too. Take care, but you're here. I should have enough cash. Yeah, I got 40 bucks. Another crate. All right, let's see. Let's use this. Let's put twenty stews. Howdy. I should put all the foods in that one on in this one box, right? Box up, pick this one up. Uh, everything that's not canned food, drinks like that, matches. Do I have? Oh, cigarettes. box there we go students all right um hey matches Cigarettes, belt, locked. 
logs can go in there. I think I'm covering everything she wanted. I'll give her those eggs. <laughs> um... What else is there that she might need? What I have in my saddlebag that she might need? Uh, I can give her some the rest of my salt. I got plenty of salt. One other horses. Chanterelles can go here. Now I have these three boxes of repeater ammo. I can buy her some, um, uh, Sell some items. Howdy. Hello. I don't feel like hitting a tree. Today. <laughs> Let's sell all these feathers and the the bird breed. I'm not buying, I'm selling. Seventeen feathers. Where are the feathers at? Oh, there they are. Nine bird meat. Let's go. Let's double check everything. How much money do I have? $23. Let's make sure that I covered everything. I guess it wouldn't hurt to get some uh, coffee. Let's get her some tea leaves. And then we'll buy her a couple of boxes of revolver ammo. And that should be good. You know what? Let me buy some. I 
I need one salt. There. Oh, buy some ammo. Should I buy our lantern? Use this box first. Oh, what did I just do? Uh, tea leaves. Uh oh, did I give her the old? Oh, about three boxes of this. Okay. she is pretty much all set now all I gotta do is go do some logging Fill my canteen.
Okay, so give me a minute. I'm gonna sit over here on this box up here and then uh then we'll get going and we'll start doing some work on the logging. Get some chop wood for it. So just give me one second. Come on, buddy, don't be stubborn. Oh. All right. Be right back. All right. Okay, I'm back. Did he say something? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. You have a good one. I thought I heard somebody talking to me. I didn't really hear because of the music. Howdy. Oh, Kitty, is that you? Sadly, it is. Oh, so how's life treating you? I have an idiot of a horse at the moment. I'm not sure what's wrong with its head. I told it to stay, and it decided to take that moment to roll in the mud. Instead of being hitched to the ground. I don't know what's going on with that horse. 
<laughs> I'm really confused. How are you, hun? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, just been uh, trying to broker deals. Um, uh, Sheriff John Reed wanted to buy a whole shitload of items, and I'm just trying to accumulate those items, I guess. Uh, but he hasn't really gave the final word. Five five hundred bucks. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, it doesn't hurt to gather them anywho, because stuff you can still sell. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, he that's wondered. what my thought is when I had a big alcohol order. I'm like, well, worst case scenario, I have something to drink and or sell later. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, Not like it really goes bad. The worst ones are when they have the food orders. I don't make that until uh, they pay now. I make them pay half of it up front. But if it's just gathered goods or alcohol, like non expirables, I just gather up because I can sell that anywho. Yeah. Oh my god. Got another order. Shit. <laughs> yeah. I just put out an order for wood to someone who's new to state, so. <sighs> and then, um, you're a top tier farmer, right? Obviously. That was a dumb question. Disregard. I'm thinking of getting a group together to go out. I will pay for the expense to go out and do farming in Guarma. I take all the produce, you keep the profit you get from the farmer, and I pay for your way to Guarma. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I, you know, I never really harvested or collected did any of that stuff out there in Guarma before. I need lemons, and I need sugar cane, and I need peaches. Oh, okay. But the thing with the lemon field and the peach field, only one person can harvest at a time. And if you go too fast and harvest all the trees before they're up, you get kicked out for like 15, 20 minutes. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, so it's like I need experienced people who know how to pace themselves. Okay. And then like the sugar cane will take two people and each tree orchard will take one person. And then we can also have like one other, one or two other people hunting the pigs of the island. Is what I'm thinking. And we'll, I don't know when I'm going to do it. Are you a late person or an early person? Uh, this past week I've been uh, after the 2, 2 p.m. storm. Yeah. Okay. I don't know when, like, when I'm going to do it. It's still just kind of like an in-my-head thing. But I figured if I could pay people, the farmers, at least to go over. If they get the money from the farming itself and I take the produce, plus I pay for their $20 boat ride. It's mm -hmm. still, it's a profit for them. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. Plus, they can, like, go hunting and see Gorma and all that other stuff. Yeah. Um, let me know how you are with the numbers, like, as far as people. Yeah. Because I do have employees that work uh, for my company. So, um, okay. I, I can always invite, like, maybe one or two if you need, if you need all more right. people. Yeah, I'm, I'm still bouncing. Like, I'd like to use some people who are doing a state and give them something to do and go out and see. Um, All right. But uh, I'm kind of reaching out to some of my other associates like you um, if I sh fall short on hands. Okay. I don't know yet. I'm still thinking. I figured that'd be the best way to get my sugar cane. Okay. Um. Yeah, and then... I guess just schedule a date for me and then we'll make yeah. it happen. I'm not even that far in my planning. It's still just an idea. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even walk today. I don't know what's wrong with me. My brain just not functioning. Yeah. It's been a long day for me to, t you I'm know, I starting. I, I have no excuse. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, I know. Okay. 
do you have tons and tons of animal fat or are you running low on animal fat or cookies? I'm neither running low or have tons. I think I think I have seventy. Oh, okay. Ish. That's that's neither tons nor low because I'm about to do a bunch of cooking. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do, dip into your supply. Um, yeah. If you ever have like a whole bunch and stuff, let me know. I would like to buy some off you if you ever have too much. You know. I get so much of it, hun. How much do you need? Like, I sell it to the butcher. That's how much I have. Really? And I get, yeah, because I kill ducks. I have to get the bird meat and the feathers. Yeah, so. that's what I was doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I'll be happy with, uh, you know, 15 or 20 or something like that. If it, oh, that's uh, super easy. It's on a horse at the farm, though, so we'd have to make a trip to the farm. But, yeah. Um, Let me see. How much do I run my... Animal fat. That's oh, drinks. That's not food. One second. <coughs> Hello, me. One moment. Um. Which you have to come with me because I don't think I can carry it all. That's fine. I can't carry it at the moment. So, and I don't have the money on me at the moment. Uh, fat, I charge 50 cents for, so, yeah, 50 cents, is that fine? Yep. Oh, no, that's, that's oh. animal oh. fat, it's not. Oh, oh Miss Kitty. Sorry. I, I I'm am sorry, broken, but, hold um, on. Just wanted to let you know that Chomp is at the doctor's office. He got uh, oh. kicked by a horse. Huh? But it looks Hi. like surgery what? went well. So he's just, they're finishing up right now. Okay, uh, I can meet up with you later, Kitty, if you want to go over there. Okay. First, I need to run to the farm to get a horse. Do you want me to take you there? I have, I have short cake out there being an idiot. Um, okay. but I'm having a hard time turning my head for some reason. Which is weird. Hello. Oh, Mr. Jenkins, they're with them. I'm going to go check on a down horse real quick just to see if there's anything I can do. All right. Uh, I guess I could, I'll just wait here. Uh, yeah. Let me, I just need to get Fido. Okay. Sorry for dropping that on you, Miss Kitty. All right, we're getting an animal pack, guys. Lots of stock up now, all right? 50 cents, an animal fat. Get 20, that's 10 bucks. Right. So, howdy. Hello. Have we met before? Uh, what's your name? Muddy Rivers? Uh, no, we haven't. I am Levi. Levi, oh, okay. Hey, that's a solid name. Ah, uh, thank you. I've never heard of someone called Muddy Rivers. <laughs> okay. What can I say? My parents were, uh, funny people. <laughs> it makes you feel any better. My last name is Abel. It's the amount of puns and jokes I make about my own last name. Oh, <laughs> hey, all right. Join the club. Uh, I got uh, shot in the shoulder a week or so ago, and I couldn't use my arm, so I kept on saying, ah, I might be Levi Abel, but I guess I'm unable to do much today. Oh, my God. Being the butt in and everybody sucks. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, my favorite joke was, uh, I'm going to make you Not Levi without you. the okay. eye. Just leave. Yeah, you do. Don't uh, piss off in the helpers. I, I wasn't doing Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. So what do you, uh, 
What do you do around state, Levi? Anything yeah. interesting? Ranch hand work and lumber work. Oh, really? Lumber work, yeah. huh? Yeah, actually, I'm selling uh, logs to Kitty today. Uh, how much do your logs go for? Uh, she buys them for, um, I think she said 50 cents per log. I'd have to double check what she said. Which is okay. more than the uh, foreman at the lumber yard buys them for, so. Okay. Um, I would be interested in buying 20, 30 logs if you have that. If you don't, don't worry about it. I'm fixing to go chop some wood if uh, you don't have any. I would have to ask her as I uh, gave her an order of 100 and all I have is 100 on me. Okay, that's fine. So if she's willing to let you have scissors then i'm okay with it i get money at the end of the day if not then i apologize oh yeah no problem no problem if you want a good location to chop wood i wouldn't go up to cumberland forest <laughs> why do you say that lots and lots of wolves and only about one good spot to jump on a rock at <laughs> If you go by Diablo Rest or Diablo's Ridge and Mont's Rest, that the uh, lumber your there is a bit better. You have a little bit better chance to not get mauled by wolves. Ah, I see. Okay. It's not that I like the in between location between Valentine and Blackwater. So, whenever you're attacked by a wolf, what do you usually use? Uh, it depends if I have my long arm on me or not. If I don't, I just use a pistol. I have a... Why don't you just use uh, tomahawks? I can't handle a tomahawk. I don't have tomahawk money. <laughs> tomahawks are easy to make. All you need is one log, one leather strip, and one uh, piece of iron. Then boom. And you can stack more than one. Howdy. Oh. Would you like to buy some pecans? Uh, I would. I don't, I don't have the cash. If it's a, a 50 cents a piece of bacon. The cheapest bacon in the state. Yeah. I don't want to okay, 50 cents. Um, let me get uh six pieces, please. Yeah. Hey, uh. Uh, uh. There you go. Uh. I gave you a little extra. As many as your fingers. Uh, like look at your fingers. Oh. Oh. All right, thank you. Hey, you. Well, you enjoy your Butcher Creek Swan bacon. It's the best bacon in state. Yeah, you. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Oh, Reese, you have a good day. Bye. Bye. But, uh, yeah, I just shoot them. I try to carry as little as possible only when I uh, chop wood. That way I can pretty much just keep on gathering until I get about the hundreds and then I sell it all. Yeah, uh, I used to use my firearms as well, but it takes so many damn bullets to, you know, knock, because I usually don't use a long arm, I use a revolver, right? So, I waste my ammo a lot, and then, so, one day, I just went ahead and, um, made myself some tomahawks, and now I carry six top, wait, do I have six? I think I have three. <laughs> yeah, I have three tomahawks, and, yeah, there's only, like, Usually it's like three at the most. Oh, well, sometimes there's four wolves. So each wolf gets one. There's a, uh, compared to gray wolves and timber wolves, uh, is it about the same amount of hits or? Because I noticed timber wolves, they, they can take a little bit more. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, they're, it's, uh, they usually 
I mean, shit, they just can't handle the tomahawk. Just each wolf, it doesn't matter what kind of wolf they are. They just... Must be the iron or something. Yeah. You sharpen them pretty quick. I mean, like, pretty good and stuff. Or one at each wolf. It don't matter if it's a uh, regular wolf, timber wolf, black wolf, whatever. <laughs> I would just like to use my long arm, but I don't carry it that on me. Unless I'm just hunting. Yeah. It gets stolen from unless I'm with someone else. Yeah, I happen to agree. Uh, I mean... Hello. Howdy. Hello Has a good horse. Who's that? Oh, I don't know. I just have the same breed, and they're very reliable. Are you talking about the Appaloosa? Uh, that's. I don't think that's an Appaloosa. Uh, well, it's they're spotted, it's, right? Uh, there's a tricolored spotted Norfolk Roadster. Oh, a very very good horse. I I recommend if you do a lot of long distance traveling. Very fast, or very good endurance with a decent speed. A bit sturdier than say an Arabian, but I notice people really love those here. What the Arabian? Yeah. Mm, they're too small. Ah uh, yeah. I feel like I drag my feet when I ride one. Yeah, me too. Just bought that uh, Dutch warm blood today. Oh, how much did you uh, pay for it? Oh, 170 just for the horse itself. Mm hmm. And then another 30 for the tack and everything. Yeah, the horse I'm using right now is my. uh. One of two American Standard Brits. I love the American Standard Brits. I keep telling myself I will get one, but I keep on uh, choosing others. <laughs> hey, I, I have. Up. I called you by the wrong name. I don't know who you are. I, thought you I have else. that one. I have my Norfolk. I am and I have genuinely a glad you're okay. Okay. I like my Turkmen, my name but is Jedediah, he, Brad, he does by the not way. do good in uh, crowds. Jackson. So, uh, how long have you been in state for? Oh, it's going on four well, weeks. I heard your name before. Well, it's oh, that's good. The state, so I've been overseas for about three years. that probably be it. Yourself? Uh, uh, uh let's see. It'll be... 14, 15 I months, a little, about a, a year and three months, I guess. Have the same hairstyle, oh, so I'd spit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I wasn't always here, like, uh, during the Christmas holidays, I went back home. Anyway, uh, oh, that's good. Well, I'll keep an eye out for your telegrams, I suppose. What, yeah. What kind of work, what kind of telegrams you send out? I, I have not been back overseas and since I came over here. I don't think folks. Oh man. Well, there is one boat you're going to have to uh, look at. The casino boat in St. Denis. The Grand Corbin. I don't gamble, sadly. Oh, but just to look at the boat, I mean, it's a beautiful boat. Oh, uh, maybe I'll check it out. Yeah. Rhodes is not on my list of destinations right now. Uh, give me a minute. I need to check my telegrams. Uh, of course. Well, hmm, I don't know if I can let a lady do that. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Uh, all right. If you say so. Yeah, yeah, we'll be safe, all right? Oh, no. No, I don't know where he ran off to. Oh, 
someone else. Five bucks will be uh, a decent. Sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. You just call me church. Church? Oh. Alrighty. My name's Jedediah Bragg. Nice to meet you, Bragg. Check inside for telegrams real quick. Now I'm heading that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people coming and going in Valentine now. Guess a lot of people are waking up now. You just better buy my bacon. Oh, you just want to buy bacon? Help us be in cousin Nav. You take them down now. Oh, Jesus. That was Olivia. Yes. Excuse me. Uh, Sorry. that happens to be your name. No, it's not. Oh, never mind. I thought you were somebody else. Mm -hmm. My apologies. Okay. No worries. <laughs> Thank you for uh, Olivia Howard. <laughs> Olivia who? Howard. Oh no, I'm Mia Moore. Mia Moore? Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Well, pleasure to meet you. I'm uh, Muddy Rivers. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a, I mean, she was just here. Or does uh, Olivia have black hair or does she have red hair? I can't remember. All right, I done made a fool of myself. I thought that was somebody I, I knew, but that was apparently somebody. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I think everyone does that at least, at least once a day, even if they don't want to. Admit it. I I have done it an embarrassing amount of times, <laughs> and very loudly too. Not just not just the oh hello. It's it's always. Oh, I haven't seen you all day. Oh, you're not who I thought you were. Please, <laughs> please don't drop me. I think it's the 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 lack of ability of the barbers. You know, when you go over there, get a haircut and things like that, and they don't have any uh, creative abilities. Yeah, yeah. Thought that everyone has dark hair. It's uh, it gets very confusing when you see a crowd of about twenty people and all of them have black or very dark brown hair. It's, it's like, <laughs> hello? I, someone over there, I'm looking for a person with black hair and then suddenly everyone takes their hat off and you're just like, fuck. All right, that's like somebody with black hair. Oh, that's like 95% of them. Yeah. I, so I always feel like I stick out a little too much. I ever cut my hair. <laughs> I mean, I'm easy to find which is not always my my goal, but it is what it is. Mm. I just leave my hat on for some reason. That's yeah, that's, it, yeah, that's the one thing uh, most people identify as is with their hats. So I always try to buy a hat that uh, nobody uses, really. Like, your hat is unique to you, you know what I mean? Yeah, I... I... I've not seen another person with this hat, so it's, it's good or not. Yeah. yeah. Uh, honestly, I haven't seen one. I I try to memorize hats and horses. Somewhat. At least if I know the person has a preferred favorite horse or a specific sort of tack. Mm hmm. So you've been here for four weeks. How do you like it so far? I mean, like, um, how you find the living out here? Is it rough for you? Uh, 
You know, things have been interesting. I have been robbed four times in those four weeks. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I, I've enjoyed some of the people I've met, so I can't complain entirely. Yeah. Uh, I've been here over a year, and I still get robbed from time to time. I, I wouldn't mind every so often, but when it's every week, you just kind of, you just kind of like sigh and just, it's like, why? I promise, hey. I don't have anything more to steal. I know the feeling. So, uh, I tend to mix the rubbers pity me, so it usually works out somewhat. Pity <laughs> and laughter is usually what saves me from getting completely uh, fucked over. Attic? Oh. Can I borrow a moment of your time? Yeah, sure. What's, uh, what's going on? So that fine brown horse over there is named Pig. Mm -hmm. He's a good friend. But he's getting a bit long in the tooth, and I believe my my galvanting is something you can't keep up with anymore. Would you know anyone who would be uh, willing to take on, take a horse off my hands? Uh, You know, if you can't find somebody to buy it off you, I usually... Um... If you find like a veterinarian clinic, I think there's one in Emerald or something like that. Uh, look for public telegrams. They usually buy them off you. Um, they also sell some. Yeah, you could. that you're looking to get rid of a horse. Yeah, just say like, uh, uh, you know, the the breed of the horse, and say it's fully tacked because it has a saddle and saddlebags and such, and uh, somebody mm. will most definitely. Yeah, uh, that's what I did with my turkey Oh, oh I don't you started with a Turkoman. What are uh, you riding now? Well, technically, I have another one, but I, right now I'm riding that, that Dutch warm blood. Hmm. Yeah. My, Go ahead, sir. Oh, I was going to say, my, I like the Turkoman, but they, they don't mesh well with groups in riding. At least the ones I've had, they always seem a little too hot. They so want to run around and race. And, well, mm. it's not always a race. Not a team player, then I take it. Yeah, yeah. But the. Feel warm. Good breed. Got it. All right. Whoa. All right, share yourself for coming through, folks. Nice screen no. share, sir. Oh. Oh. Last one, aren't you? Thank you. <laughs> I guess they like the, right. your shirt. <laughs> All right, well, I appreciate it. I'm going to see if I can take Pig over to Emerald Ranch. And, uh, you know, that reminds yeah. me a lot of my friend from the other territories. His name was Craig. And he always had a list of things to sell. Mm -hmm. It was very interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. The best thing to do is just uh, advertise it, send a public telegram, just saying uh, you have a horse, and if you, what you want for it, or if you don't want anything for it, you can probably uh, people, you know, they come off the boat and they don't have a whole lot of money, so sometimes people get free horses, you know, if you. It's whatever you want to do. Yeah. You don't want to know how low I sold that Turkerman. Still hurts to this day. It, it was, I gave him up for uh, 75. <laughs> That's a steal and a half there. Oh, yeah. It, well, to be fair, he came with the contract of if he wants to ever sell him, that he'll uh, sell him back to me. <laughs> right. Well, it'd be a miracle if I get one for this Tennessee Walker, but. I'll happily part with it if it helps anyone else out in the future. Thank you. Appreciate the time. Oh, yep, no problem. no problem. Well, so uh, Chomp got kicked by a horse. Oh, apparently, which doesn't shock me. They were kind of running all over this place earlier. Huh. Which I've never actually seen them until today. I've seen their ads occasionally, but never actually seen them before. Howdy. Gentlemen. Hello. So you, you've been here for a little while and you already got yourself your own company and stuff going, right? Oh. No, I don't have a company. 
Wait. Well, I mean, you have ways to make your own money and stuff, right? A logging company or anything. Well, I mean, I, I work as a as a logging company. I don't necessarily own it. Oh yeah, I know that. I know, but you can always. But, uh, the, but yeah, I mean, I have my ways. I have some people that buy for me my core wood, my villa bark, my logs. Well, how much do you sell for willow bark? Hmm. Willow bark is, I tend to have a variety of prices between people. It kind of depends on who you are, since it's a medical sort of thing. Right. Uh, yeah, I sell, willow bark can go anywhere from like a dollar to a dollar fifty per. Okay. All right. So if they're a uh, law, I usually make them. Buy it by two dollars per. Okay. But that's yeah. just because I'm a bidder. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to sell to this one deputy, and she would have me quite literally run across the state just trying to find her to sell. I got very, very pissed off that day. Yeah. Um, been there, done that. Especially with the yeah. business I, I run. Uh, I sell food for horses, right? So oh, there's been many attempts. But, uh, I've seen your ads. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's been so many times I had to go all the way out west for delivery and drop off and all that stuff. Oh, I bet. But uh, uh, it does help to bring on people. You know, if people are looking for work, they'll advertise it in the, you know, in the public telegrams. You can always ring them a bell and just kind of bring them in under your wing, and that can help you. Um, I... I, uh, I don't know. I just prefer, I just kind of like having myself to do it because I don't, I don't necessarily have it as an official business. It's more, how do I explain it? It's more just, I find what people need and then I go out and get it. I don't necessarily need the, to have a list of people to go out and do those things because then I have to pay them fair wage and then I'd have to increase my prices and I'd rather just use the work and keep the pay myself. <laughs> you know what I do? Uh, I, I got three employees, right? Um, yeah. this, this, this is how I pay them. Whatever money they make, it's theirs. Whatever they <laughs> put, whatever they pick, like when they go out and harvest hay and stuff, or grain to turn into hay, that's their money. The only thing I require for them is to advertise on a public telegram you know what i mean that's it they keep their own ledger they keep the amount of inventory whatever money they have it's theirs you know the whole bit it makes it easier because i yeah i know exactly what you're talking about you don't want to be uh what looking at all the things and stuff because i've done that before when i first ran my business i always had to look over someone's shoulder and stuff like that and it was like no you're not doing it the way i wanted to and uh so this time it's been different i decided you know whatever money you have whatever your inventory you have it's uh what you make you know that and uh i kind of use my selling as a um a way to get to know people and to, i wouldn't say get favors but be looked upon favorably to some groups, so say, you know, leave me alone. Yeah, um, you have to be. That, yeah, that, yeah, that is why I do it personally. Yeah, um, that's how I meet all kinds of people. I mean, even the people that have been here for longer than I have are, are people that are fresh off the boat or something like that because, uh, even the, the the people that come in fresh off the boat, I usually take them un, under my wing, show them the basics, and then, yeah, before you know it, they're off of doing their own thing and stuff. So, yeah, I see. Um, meeting people is, is probably the best thing you can do. And you always have to stay neutral, you know what I mean? Otherwise, uh, it yeah. hurts your business a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I... Uh... I, I imagine so. I'm fine, 
but I had to chase down a boyfriend with amnesia who decided to haul ass through the woods saying they're going to get me. I need to run. Stay away. So, sorry for the wait. Wait, uh, Chomp is a... Okay. Chomp has amnesia and broken ribs. And he decided to escape the clinic and go hauling ass past the farm. And he escaped three people on horses. Hell, that's impressive. Yeah, so, the little fucker's got gumption. But he passed out and now he's in bed. So. Oh, okay. He's in bed. Yes. And I may have tied his wrist to the bed. Well, that's probably a good thing for him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, animal fat. Point. Mm. You wanted 20? Uh, yes. Here you go. Ah, fucking rain. Today is not my day. Alright, there you go. Uh, go. Yeah. So, um, I'm hoping to buy some logs and some willow bark over my newfound friend right here. Yeah, well, I think he has a hundred for me, but I don't need a hundred. Because I, I only need 25 or 50, because I checked my log situation. So I'll wait till he's done thinking. Oh, yeah, let's get out from the water. <laughs> uh, I was going to ask you, do you know a lady named Dahlia Quinn? I don't know. Yeah, uh, well, that's the reason why I'm buying so much stuff, because, uh, well, she's back in town, and she lives up there in Coulter all by herself, pretty much, and she asked if, oh, uh, the silver hair? yes, yes, uh, oh, yeah, she's, I gave her a ride. she's super nice. Yeah, she really is, and a lot of people, uh, well, unfortunately, some people don't see that, but anyways, um, if I you, and I gave her a ride from Rhodes to Coulter, and she paid me like twenty bucks for it. Yeah, um, she was been looking for somebody to like, um, like you know how the Pioneer Overland Company and the Twin Rivers thing used yeah. to do. Well, nobody goes up there to the Coulter, and she's like, uh, you know, she never has any supplies. So, yeah. so I took it upon myself to do this. I'm gonna, I'm getting her you like. Um, wait, my poster's not up anymore. Uh, that, uh, there's that one gal who's advertising about her, the something saddle. Uh, she does deliveries. She's super oh. nice. I've used her to do some orders before. Something saddles. Uh, she sent a public telegram? Um, she has a poster up in the poster board stuff. Okay, let me look. That's on the staff in this place. Um, Sel... Sekirk's saddle? Sylvia? Oh! Sylvia. Yes. What about Sylvia? Uh... Oh, okay. I heard to do deliveries up to Coulter. Oh, I can see her doing that. Mm-hmm. Okay. She's very enthusiastic, and she is trustworthy. I've used her a couple times, and I've been trying to find her work to do, because I don't actually get many deliveries I need to hand out. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. I, I can speak to Dahlia about it, and... Hopefully, um, because I plan on supplying her every month, but if somebody has all the items and stuff, like on a regular basis, well, mm -hmm. I might as well just pass the business of, off to her. You know, she's willing to do it. Yeah. I don't know if she has the items, but I know that she'll take them up there. And I wouldn't mind donating up to Coulter. 
Yeah. Uh, I don't want to go up there. <laughs> yeah, I'll do the. <laughs> I don't, I'll do the delivery. It's no big deal. Um, so far, I have two crates. Um, one crate is just like canned foods and things like that. Salt, coffee, tea, whatever. Tea leaves. Um, and then the other crate, I'm putting in like, um, you know, there's a few bottles of alcohol. You know, and then... Um, so ex- yeah, uh, my next agenda. Uh, I have one of my employees, Hazel Hawkins, looking for... Uh, a doctor that can uh, sell us like uh you know either get some bandages needles things like that um for medical supplies up there in Coulter. um take some from any of the tented doctor's offices i supply those weekly oh okay okay yeah um i was also looking to maybe purchase like a bone broth if not i was going to try to buy some willow bark off of Levi here, and maybe I can buy, uh, make some uh, willow bark tea. In case uh, basically, you supply me the goods, I will make it for you. Oh, really? Yep. Um, I don't know if I have any bone. All right. Well, then I... you can buy some from me. <laughs> really? Yeah, I have about two hundred. It's back at the farm now. Okay. Okay. And uh, how much do you charge? Say I wanted ten. Uh, it's pay what you want. It's donation based because doctors don't make money. Oh well, I'm gonna pay you very handsomely for it. How about two bucks All a right. pop? Sweet, sounds good. So yeah, that'll be I don't twenty dollars. Price for my medicine, so it's um, you can either donate me the materials and I can make them for you, or if the stuff that I have made is usually all donated materials. Anywho, so it's just. Okay. Yeah, if I can give a get ten bone broth, ten willow bark tea, I'll give you forty bucks. And Levi, if you do have extra logs, I would like well, to I only purchase need about twenty-five or fifty, so he should have extra. Okay. Yeah, that. Yeah, uh, that works. Yeah, that's I about as much my, as I need. My wood stock, because I have three hundred on my horse currently. <laughs> I thought it was lower than I was. So how much do you want so I can go grab them? I'll take 50. 50? Okay, and you want... Uh, for me, if I can get 25 or 30. Um, okay. Yeah, just make it 25. I gotta run to the bank and grab some cash so I can pay y'all up. Alright. Right. So, I'll be right back. Spend the money. Good, it saves me the trouble. How much am I going to need? Just take out like seventy eight. He's bringing up his horse that has the wood on it. Okay. (laughs) Should tell him to come to the ranch once he gets it so I get you your stuff. All right, there you go. Swing. You wanted how much of each? Uh, ten of each. Alright. 
That's and super then, easy. Okay, and then the tents, I just go and uh, grab some bandages, needles, thread. Yep. Whatever. Yeah, we go through weekly and restock them with all my all the herbal stuff I make, and we get all the suture kits and everything like that at them. There's like the one at Emerald's always well stocked, and Rhodes. Those are okay. the two most stocked ones. All right, well, uh, I think I pretty much got everything she requested. Um, yeah. All I gotta do is pick up some blankets here at the store, and we're good. Nice. Oh, I, hate I didn't know what she liked, so I bought like two cans of everything, like peaches and strawberries. Nice. <laughs> oh, you should throw these in as a just a um, just cause. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She would love those. I figured out the recipe. <laughs> so have you learned all the recipes that are available in the territory? No. How many are you lacking? Do you know? Because uh, remember back in the day, Pink used to say, oh, I know all the recipes but one and blah, blah, blah. So now you're like the new Pink here. You know all the recipes, uh, but... Well, How many? <laughs> someone knows French toast. Uh, Ramona knows French toast and she won't share it. You know, that Ramona. I asked her to uh, help me out with this deal with Dahlia. I have 13 recipes I don't know. Okay. 13. That's not bad, though, considering how many there are. Right? It would be 12 if Ramona would give me French toast. But she won't. And I'm only holding on to the Peach Brown Betty till the end of the month, and I'm releasing it. I'm so what? Myself one month of holding on to it to do sales for fundraising for the ranch, and then I'm releasing it to the public. So how do you discover these things? What, you just start I, throwing shit in, in the pot? Or? In a pan, and I accidentally <laughs> messed up another recipe and figured out uh -huh. the Peach Brown Betty. And then I had to try and figure it out again because I don't know what I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Oh, I just poked my head out. I think it's still over at the stables. I don't know. I... Is it raining for you? Yeah, very much so. Okay, but I'm not getting wet. Same. Same here. The fuck? It's only when I'm on my horse or something. Something wrong with the state today. Oh yeah, her horse is wet. My horse yeah, is not. It's a good looking horse. Why are you not wet? Why am I not wet? What is wrong? <laughs> okay, there, now you are. There you go. Howdy. Okay, now I am. Good lord. I am impervious to rain. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been snooping around the graveyards lately? No ghosts. No ghosts. Mm. Not had a need to. I'm good on maggots. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, still let me. Baffled that I can go and dig up graves and no one bats an eye at me. Also, really? Also, I just handed over a. A uh, store robbery bag to the deputies. Did you count it at least? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they didn't question me at all. <laughs> How do you get in away with it? If that would have been me, I would have been locked up. Uh -huh. uh, you know, they would have thrown away the key and everything. Uh huh. Yeah, no, I actually telegrammed the 
the um, the line, and I was like, "Hey, found this empty bag in my barn. Who can I give this to? I don't want it in my barn." <laughs> Didn't tell them that we took the money out and put it in the barn ourselves. Nice. Uh, <laughs> that horse is just pacing back and forth. Yeah, I noticed that. There was no rider. I am under the assumption that when you transfer horses, that is exactly what happens. Uh -huh. Like, if you pay the 5 or 20 bucks to get your horse sent from one town to another, they uh -huh. just wander around until they get to their destination. Oh, really? Yeah. I am 90% sure that is exactly what happens. So... It's not the stable boy that retrieves them anymore. No, I'm pretty sure they just be like, okay, horse, go here. And the horse is just like shrugs and be like, I, right. and they just take their time. Oh, God. That's why it's a $5 fee. The $20 one is, is the stable hand takes them somewhere, but the $5 one, they just kind of release the horse and tell it to go. That's why it takes so long. Oh. <laughs> I say, you know, now that I think about it, you're probably right. <laughs> uh, that's why we see so many horses just wandering the roads with no rider. That's just someone's transferring them. Well, uh, did you hear that I'm DOP in training? Oh, shit. Yeah, I've almost completed my training. I got like three more things to do. But, nice. uh, yeah, I'm waiting for a captain to come around so I can train under him and, or her. Uh, but oh. as of late, yeah, as of late, they are hard to get a hold of. That's how it is with all the upper echelon. We have these people who use their connections to get up and then they're just never around. That's how it is with the politics and the upper echelon. Uh, it's so it's not on. just... It's not just the, this department, it's everywhere. Oh yeah, no, there's only two... Um, yes. There's only two marshals. So, good luck becoming a bounty hunter, but I wouldn't recommend it. Two? It's basic. Yeah. I thought there was three. No, one quit, left, I don't know, died, who the fuck knows. Oh really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Attic. Uh, did you... Oh, yeah, I got the wood now. String. Okay, um... I don't I guess... see that medical call that's about to happen. Yep, I see it. I don't. Well, I'm not a... I'm not a medic, so I'm not worried about it. I'm a surgeon. Um... Yeah. Don't say that too loud, though. <laughs> so you ready? You're... Yeah, uh, sell to her first, and then I'll... Oh, I can just put the 75 on the ground and go up and... I don't remember how much I was getting. 50? Yeah. Yeah. You 50, you 25. Okay, and how much is it going to cost for me? Gosh. I was doing 50 cents a log. Yeah, we'll just close that. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, that's fine. So that would be... Don't ask me to do a mask, please. <laughs> I'm just um, going on hope that y'all pay me correctly. $12.50, I think? Is that right? Oh, uh, you just said a number, and I don't remember his ticket number. <laughs> God damn you. <laughs> uh, what's your ticket number for today, good sir? Uh, let me just remember how to check. It's uh, 19. This is 19. You yeah. basically look at your checkbook and you flip page up to see. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. There is your money for your logs, good sir. Hi, no, Draven. Hello. I finally found my jacket. Nice. Matches my horse. There you go. Thank you. Uh, no, thank you. you. Save me a, yeah, you saved me a trouble. Ah, no problem. Alright. Now 
I get to head to the farm. I'm going right. to go get to your medicine. Okay, you want me to wait here? Well, you can come with. It'd save me a trip back. All right, I'll do that. Thank <laughs> you again, Levi. Ah, no problem. Driving, I'm heading to the farm. And I'm probably going to stay there and cook. Oh, wait, I need to buy a bunch of sugar first. Hold on. I was gonna put my coat on, right? Yeah. Eat some bacon. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pretend that I didn't see you fall off your horse. Right. <laughs> this is my horse, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think so. <laughs> yep. What is your problem? Miserable. Yeah. Uh, think you think? I've got a thing in the house I can cook on. So I don't know. Yeah, outside. Uh, I was wondering if I'll be able to take a nap in your barn. Alrighty. Ah, butter stick. Glad you're dirty. Let's see. I'm gonna make more willow bark. That goes there. What else? There you are, good sir. Oh, well, thank you. Would it be okay if I, uh, stable my horse here and sleep in the barn? You can sleep in the house, hon. Okay, well, thank you. You don't have to sleep in the barn. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can if you do that's your preference. Like, I'm not, you know, trying to yuck you young or whatever, but you, you can sleep in the house if you prefer less leaky. Eggs, boom, boom. 
All right, almost got everything she needs. What you missing? Uh, just the bandages and stuff like that. Oh. Um, and then and the blankets. Gotcha. All right. Howdy. All right, guys, I guess that's going to be it for today. I'm about to pass out. Thank you all, everybody who's come by. Daniel, thank you for the absurdity. Thank you for the rig. And so until next time, guys, this will be it. All right. See y'all waiters. See y'all waiters. All right. Y'all have a good one.